He's been holding in that fart. Did you see that? He's been holding in that fart since 2 o'clock yesterday. Hello, everybody. My name is Mood Sims. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today, we are finally back with the Family Dynamics household. And we are here with Miss Dove. So, a few things before we get into today's video. Um, first and foremost, I'm so sorry that it took me so long to get this video out. Um, I could not, for the life of me, get this game open after the life and death update. Uh, it completely corrupted my family dynamics save and so the house they were living in for some reason got corrupted with the new update i don't know why for whatever reason it just never would open so with that being said i had to move the family and so they can no longer live on that lot because i cannot get it open so i'm hoping that maybe when the sims updates the game again it will get fixed but for right now they're kind of living in a, a shed i don't I don't know. I'll, sh I'll show y'all what I have for them. Last episode, Dove welcomed her fourth and final baby, baby Rome. In today's episode, we will be not only raising Rome, but we'll also be getting to know Reese and Ray better. Reese and Ray are the two main characters that could be heir. Um, I don't really know which one yet. So we're gonna get to know both of them more today. And by next episode, I'll let y'all pick who you think should be heir. But without further ado, here is where the Canos will be living. You might be wondering, girl, what in the world is this? <laughs> This is a little fixer upper. I thought it would be so cute if they could fix this house up and maybe it will be their permanent home. I don't know because I didn't think it would be fun to move them from one gorgeous house to another. I am punishing them and I think that it would be fun if they had some family bonding. What better way to bond with your family than traumatize them? They are in a shack that looks like it's about to fall at any given second. Um, so yeah, I think that it will be super fun. <laughs> Like I said, Dove gave birth last episode, so why don't we go ahead and, and see where our baby is, who does not need to be in this house at all. So let, let me give you the little tour, okay? So we got a lot of overgrown hedges right here. I'm thinking about bringing the goats back. I did get rid of Domino and Jet, but I think we need them back so they could eat this shrubbery. Over here is a little horse barn. I'm thinking where Saffron could go. Saffron could stay in here, cute and gorgeous. We have a little chicken coop, but I don't want chickens. A little, a little shed that we can tear down. I don't know what the heck this could be. We could put our garden there. Y'all, do you see the vision or am I delusional? A little backyard for the kids. This is cute. We could do something with this. I know Reese and Riley are like, are you freaking kidding me? We left our cute and gorgeous home for this, for real. So this is cute. This could be a cute little hangout area for the teens. I'm seeing the vision. Coming in the front door, there are no lights to this place. So coming in the front door, we'll start over here in the living room. Love it. We got a bathroom back here. Um, I don't know what this is. Maybe this could be a kid's room or we'll knock this wall down and expand the kitchen. We got dining room. Up here we have a kid's bedroom, another bathroom. Uh, I think this is just a walkway, another bedroom, the master, and here is Rome. Here's our cute little baby Rome and another room. <laughs> so yeah, this is where they're staying for the time being. Since they had to move out of their house, I did keep all their furniture and I'm hoping that their important stuff is in here. I'm seeing all of our vegetables and stuff, which is great, but I'm more concerned about our birth certificates like their marriage license okay here's the sonogram for um rome and ray so that's good that's promising and here is two birth certificates i'm missing one unfortunately i don't know who's i'm missing but i am missing one of them some of their personal photos the dog's graves okay so they do have a bunch of important stuff in here which is great and their marriage license that's fantastic oh here it is okay so we have all of the kids birth certificates which is fantastic so i'm not missing anything important so i guess we could let that house go it pains me to say that but what i'm thinking of doing i have absolutely no reason to be doing this other than just the fact for punishment but I'm thinking some candles to light up the house. I think I'm gonna have uh, Stefan take the kids, get some goats, 
and bring them back and help clear this uh, shrubbery. And in the meantime, Dove is going to breastfeed the kids. What do you think? She's piss off. Riley is very tense. She cannot believe that this is her life now. I'm laughing so hard. Why does Reese look like this? He looks... Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I don't know what's wrong with you, but I hate it. Reese does not care about being popular. That's great. And he joined the social group Rebel Rousers. Riley does care about being popular and she joined Nerd Brains. That's actually very fitting for both of them. Oh, uh, send all students alone. I didn't realize they had to go to school. Unfortunately, the freelance chef thing I had for Dove uh, broke, so I'm waiting for the creator to fix it. So currently she's without a um, job right now, but she has a new movement called Breastfed Bliss. Having just experienced the intimate act of breastfeeding, uh, radiates a profound sense of maternal joy and satisfaction. The nurturing connection established during this tender moment imparts not only essential nourishment, but also a serene bond between caregiver and the little one. Sweet, that's so cute. So, Dove's currently without a job right now, but that's okay. I'm gonna have Ray come up here. I think she's gonna help clean up, you know, get the spider webs down, clean up this right here, maybe do the same in here since she's not in school today. Aw, Dove's just holding the baby, which is so sweet. Oh, great. Mysterious rancher. We're having a welcome party. Maybe the neighbors can help us clean up. Talk to your neighbors. Oh, we got a celebrity as a neighbor? Go ahead and invite them in. You know, we don't want to be rude. They brought wine and food. Oh no, you're instantly attracted ca to Kazua? Babe, you're married! Dove! We're not doing this again. Oh my gosh, Dove. How did we end up here? Oh, she don't like us. Do we steal her husband? She is literally the biggest homewrecker of her own family. I don't understand her. Dove, you stress me out. I, I genuinely cannot believe her. I thought we moved past all of this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Extinguish, extinguish. Is he still on fire? Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> Ray likes horse riding. This poor guy, dude. Oh, you poor thing nearly died, but I'm glad it was you and not one of us. And she's attracted to him too? Are you serious? She finds them both very attractive. I cannot believe her. What do you think about your own husband? Okay, she is very attracted to him. Girl, I was about to say, but she's also... Wait, what is this? Kiyoshi married to... No, Kiyoshi is not married to you, Yuriki. He's married to our best friend, Summer. <gasps> Did Kiyoshi leave Summer for another girl? Because she was very sad the last time we saw her. Do you guys remember that? And I think her and Kiyoshi got into a fight. But I don't remember if I left that in the episode. Oh no. Okay, we'll have to come back to that another time. How's Ray feeling? Oh, we just passed the bathrooms. Maybe you should use it. <laughs> she has to go into a fly infested bathroom. Oh, you poor thing. I'm so sorry. All right, so we got rid of the nasty rug that was here. We got rid of the spider webs. Ray got rid of those when she cleaned up a bit. Dove needs to take a nap. And then we're gonna go into town, get some goats. We're gonna rent the goats. They're gonna clean up all this shrubbery. It might take a few days for them to do all that, but they're gonna do it. No, Reese, now's not a good time to be inviting friends over. Okay, so the kids are very stressed out right now. Unfortunately, they can't do anything fun, but they can go goat shopping. Is that freaking Elliot? How do you always find us? He was there when we moved into our other house too. I don't even know where their home is. Hold on. All right, so Dove cleans up a bit. Oh, the baby is crying again. We got rid of all this, all the newspapers that were on the floor. We picked it up and threw it away. And the neighbors helped us bring all this stuff that we don't want down to the road so the garbage can come and get it. Wait, hey, this could be fun. Ari wants to go to the prom with Reese. As friends, does he want to go? Oh, well, we were actually going to ask Summer, and I don't know you. I'm going to say of course, but we're actually going with Summer. 
and not him which I also said not to invite him over, so I don't know why he's here. There's actually quite literally nothing for the kids to do, maybe except clean up some of the stuff in here. That's what Riley's coming to do. Maybe Reese can clean the floor over here and he can put these boxes away, these wine boxes. I'm gonna have Riley and Reese travel to, I don't even know what it's called. I don't wanna say like, it's not the farmer's market, like the, the animal store and get some goats to clean up the shrubbery outside. All right, so I gotta find, is it this? Okay, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and find some goats. I guess it really doesn't matter. We're just renting them for the day. So we'll just get these ones. Wow, Stefan earned $3,000. That's actually fantastic. And I did forget that I do have all of their stuff. So I guess that we can, I guess that we can um, give them their beds back because I do have it. <laughs> They don't have to live in total misery. There are the goats that we're renting for the day. So cute. Oh, don't fall in love with him, please. Oh. Oh, they love him. Oh, now I feel so bad. Oh my gosh, wait, they're so cute. He's thinking of duck. Should we name this one duck? Wait, what? Hey, a connection got their hands on a stash. A stash of what? <laughs> Wait, I don't have base mineral drugs in here. I'm gonna say okay. I don't know where they're going. And then Olivia invited Riley out. Hey, I don't have any plans tonight. And if you don't either, uh, why don't you come over and we'll have a sleepover. That's so cute. Go ahead. Um, Your mom shouldn't care if you go over to Olivia's house. I really don't think she's gonna care all that much. I'm not gonna ask because I'm scared that they're gonna say no and i'm not gonna ask with you either because i don't know what you're up to the goats are about to get to work on the shrubbery there he goes the brown one um is ray ray is done taking a bath so i will have her name the brown mini goat this one was like in a really good mood when he got here and since this is a child naming him i'm gonna go with giggles and this one this one was um reese was thinking of ducks so we'll name this one Ducky. Giggles and Ducky, thank you for your service. I am gonna go ahead and give everybody their beds back. Can you leave, Ari? You're kind of weird. Yeah, leave it to Ray to be like, get, get out. <laughs> so this is gonna be Reese's room. This is going to be Riley's room, the parents' room, and then I guess Ray can have this little room. Um, I know it's not like our other house, but they're just gonna have to deal. Okay, so the parents' room is looking a bit like this. I can't find their bed frame. This isn't it. So um, this is just gonna have to be it for now. All right, this is what Ray's room is looking like for now. I was able to squeeze her bed in here, but I got these two pictures hiding the water stain, but I think we can go ahead and add electricity to the house. I'm gonna get Ray this because I'm sure she's scared out of her mind to be living here. Here. um i know i would be so this is what the house is looking like with some lights <laughs> i am very terrified of it i don't know whose idea this was but you know what it is what it is i think we can go ahead and get rid of these death candles here it is here's the living room oh my gosh did lou live here look at the scratch marks on this picture oh my goodness oh the spider in the bathroom yeah, we gotta get you out. So I think this is good for now. Ray, can you come and um, refill the feeder? Where are the goats? The goats are eating. They're doing their thing. We'll get rid of the strawberry soon. Oh, it's Rome's birthday. Oh, we're gonna have an infant in this mess. Oh, I feel like Ray might have been the only child that had it well when it comes to this family. Riley was born when they were poor. Firstborns, you're trying to figure it out. It's not easy. And then Reese came along. That definitely wasn't easy. Riley and Reese, correct me if I'm wrong. I think they shared a room for a little bit. Ray came along. She had it easy, y'all. They lived in a nice house. Didn't have to worry about too much with her, except that we did think she was the Reaper's daughter. And now Rome is living in this filthy spider infested house. What is this? Oh, I thought she was holding an infant. Wait, as flawless as Reese was at leaving without permission, someone must have ratted him out. 
it was Ray. It was Ray that ratted him out. Because she's standing right here. There ain't no way Ray didn't rat him out. But what were you up to, mister? Wait, Reese knows that it isn't for everyone, but he feels good. Can't wait to try other things. What did you try? It doesn't tell me what he did. Um, I think I forgot to ask Olivia to prom. Let's add a little light into his room and then we'll make a promposal sign. Oh my gosh, what do you mean 11 days until elder? No. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. Oh, here it is, a soul's journey. This is what I wanted to do. On a computer or a journal. All right, so we need to get journals for both of them. All right, it's 1 a.m. You've slept enough. Create your promposal sign. Oh, this is ugly. What if she says yeah. no? Also, nothing screams I want you more like a last minute invitation to prom. All right, it's good quality. We're gonna sneak out to, not vacation. We're going to sneak out to Olivia's house, where our sister is currently, Riley, and we're going to ask her to prom at 2 o'clock in the morning. All right, we're here. They got a new horse. Here are the boys. This is Kirk and King. Um, where is Olivia? Don't tell me she's asleep. Here. <gasps> is this Olive? Oh my gosh, she aged up into a child. We're going to have to give her a makeover. Where is Olivia? She's the whole reason why we're here. So now I'm wondering um, where Riley is. So go ahead and maybe give her a hug. Be a gentleman. So cute. Wow, what a sim. Reese just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment and found themselves staring at Olivia. That woman has so many of the qualities that makes Reese's heart race as if it were on a cross country marathon. Their beautiful features meet Reese's desires so readily that it's almost as if whatever created such a sim sculpted her specifically for Reese. Hopefully Olivia will be kind enough to reciprocate Reese's feelings. Oh, this is so sweet. I hope she does because it's going to be so awkward if not. Anyway, um, ask her to prom. Yay, she said yes. This is so sweet. Sure, I guess I'll go to prom with you. She's trying to play it cool, but she was so excited. She was so excited. Voice crack. That was totally embarrassing. <laughs> That's so cute. Reese's eyes were caressed by a truly magnificent sight as a particularly appealing sim just entered his view. This fine specimen of a sim now has Reese's undivided attention as they try to pick their job from the floor. There are heart pounding moments, but this one here is heart stopping. <laughs> He's embarrassed because his voice cracked when he asked her to prom. That's so sweet. Okay, well, Olivia, we will see you tomorrow at the prom. Okay, everybody's home. Riley came home. I don't know why, but I'm going to send everybody off to bed and we will see you in the morning. All right, you guys, it is the next morning. I'm going to have Dove come down here and cook some breakfast. I think that's the least she can do since she moved her family here. Um, The prom is for Reese and Riley today. Wait, she's now unattracted to King? No, she's not. Maybe it's... Oh, okay, they are going to the prom as friends. But she's unattracted to King. Maybe it's... But she also has a crush on him. Maybe it's because he's still a preteen. He will be aging up soon. That could be it. It's New Year's Eve. So I think that's the perfect time for everybody to set goals. And these two can set their goals since they're going to become elders soon. I cannot believe it. I'm getting putting out this fire that nearly took everybody out. We're going to get rid of a few more things. Maybe he can go ahead and clean up this living room. Get rid of these boxes and rugs and then spider webs and stuff. All right, so I moved some furniture around. Hopefully that this will cover like the crap that was there. Our next tackle is gonna be this room. Um, maybe Ray can help them do that while we're at the prom with the kids. I'm hoping that Rome stays a baby for as long as possible because I cannot handle an infant in this house right now. But why doesn't everybody come downstairs and then I'll get the kids ready for prom. Dove. Can you please finish breakfast? No, she can't. No eggs benedict for breakfast this morning. I guess we can have some pumpkin spice waffles they already made. And while everybody is eating breakfast, I'm gonna go ahead and have everybody set a goal for New Year's. Make a resolution. I think Dove will probably want to complete an aspiration milestone. Stefan needs to get promoted. Riley, let's see here. Riley, since she's in that nerd club, I think she would probably want to become a better student. Reese, 
probably wants to get a significant other, that significant other being Olivia, and Ray can raise us her skills. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get Riley and Reese ready for the prom. All right, so this is the living room. Now that we spent a little money on it, we got $4,000 from Inheritance and she only spent a thousand. So this is what it's looking like for right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and have her make a will um, and do a goal. So I don't know how to make a will. Read theories on mystery house. I hope this isn't the house we're living in now. Wait, okay, first of all, I think we're living in the house, this mysterious house. So maybe we should go ahead and read up on this. And it said, hold on. It said the mysterious death of Robert Crumplebottom. Didn't we meet him yesterday? He caught on fire, did he not? But we're living in the mystery house. I just wanted her to do her goal, write a goal. The kids are getting ready for prom. They're both taking a bath. Okay, so she's reading about the house that they just bought. Um, hopefully it's nothing too crazy. Hopefully we can get it fixed up and ready to sell. Uh, Dove has started her post-mortem studies. Girl, who died in this house? Oh my gosh. Riley is all ready for prom. She's not wearing this, but she is getting ready. She looks super cute. I want something else. I want to travel. I want to create. I want a great family. I want success. I want adventure. I want party. I want to get busy. I definitely think Dub wants something else. I don't think she wants this life that I've created for her. <sighs> she doesn't want a great family. Let's be honest because she has one and she keeps throwing it away. I want adventure or I want something else. I think she wants something else. You guys, I think she... One last amazing run, hold on. One last amazing run? I don't like that. That sounds very like I'm gonna die afterwards. <laughs> A party before prom. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Uh, we're gonna bring- we'll bring Ari, I guess. Why does him and Kirk have a bad compatibility? No, they do not. Olivia, of course, and our sister. Riley. It's snowing so badly here. Um, but we have a group of people. We're at some random person's house that knows Reese somehow. Why don't we all come upstairs and hang out? Upsetting crush. Oh wait, Olivia's sad and it says devastation. Something is bothering Reese's crush. How can he be happy in the face of that? Oh, where's Olivia at? Something's bothering her. Oh no, she fell. Maybe that's why she's upset. Maybe she's just stressed about prom, you know? There's a lot of like pressure around it. Oh boy, <laughs> oh boy. There's a lot of people in this room. That was a bad idea. We share some photos with her to cheer her up. Maybe some photos of your outfit you're gonna wear. Express your admiration for her. And she's feeling flirty. Uh, Riley and King are hanging out. They're like besties. I love that for them. Why don't you flirt a little bit? Cause she's flirty. Oh no, Ari go away, thank you. <gasps> she's gonna give him a rose. Oh, that's so sweet. I love these two. Whoa, wait, ho hold on. I heard Jamie is super close with their pets, like super close. Babe, what do you mean by that? <laughs> what, what do you mean by that? You better not think King is just so ugly that you want to gouge your eyes out. Girl, no. Maybe she's feeling like he's bestie now and not boyfriend material that sucks because i did like them together but i mean whatever and these two got a little flirt thing going on a little bit a little pink reese is getting the party started by getting drinks out what do you know about your classmates reese i heard riley is in a gang he's spreading rumors about his sister I didn't mean her. Riley's not in the gang. You are. Maybe exchange numbers with her. Oh, look at her. She's like so bashful. What do you think? Period. I love them. They're so cute. Oh, another. Okay, Reese, let's slow down on the drinks. Let's slow down on the drinks, my dear. Okay, so things are going share a family secret like hey did you know my mom cheated on my dad fun fact um 
Things are going so well between them, which I'm so happy about. Oh my gosh, wait, 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 pause. She adores King. Okay, we're gonna go to prom. This is Riley's outfit, and then this is Reese's outfit. Um, anyway, we're gonna vote for prom royalty. Go ahead and vote. I think she would vote for Olivia. Olivia is her best friend and potentially her brother's girlfriend. And I think he would also vote for Olivia. Obviously, that's his woman. And then Jester. I don't like any of these people. We're gonna vote Riley for Jester. And then after we're done, we're gonna take a photo. Maybe you take a romantic photo with Olivia. Why is she crying? All right, while they're in the photo booth, where is Riley's date? That's Eric Sanchez. Did he not show up? Did King not come? Oh my gosh, King didn't come? Bro, look at Riley. She's like, where are you? I'm at prom, hello. Great paired photo, how cute. Reese, why don't you give, ooh, no, I wanna save the first kiss cause we're gonna hang out after prom. So I'm gonna save the first kiss. Maybe hold her hands, that'll be sweet. Riley, why don't you take some pictures? Oh, he's thinking about marriage. <laughs> Riley's entered the picky eater phase, great. Why don't we come, I guess, slow dance to the music? She's angry. Oh, she's really mad at King right now for not coming to prom. She's really upset with King right now. Ooh, girl. I am so sorry. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. I did not tell them to do that. She did that on their own, her own. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Reese and Olivia have a strong romantic relationship and will now have and will now have independent romantic satisfaction levels. High romantic satisfaction will make maintaining romantic relationships easier. Low romantic satisfaction um, will make maintaining romantic relationships more difficult. So they're like really into each other. Like really into each other. So that's so cute. Anyway, y'all come dance. He's nervous. How sweet. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these two. Oh, she's embarrassed. She's so embarrassed to be with King that they had to go outside and dance. And they're also a terrible paired photo. Oh boy. So I don't think these two are going to um, last. There's no food. I'm not paying for the food. What the heck? The prom award ceremony is starting. These two are flirting. I think he should reveal that she's his crush. Like, I hope you win. <laughs> Olivia and Riley won. He was about to tell her that she was his crush, but he backed out last minute. Riley won Jester and Olivia won prom queen. So cute. Why don't we get some photos together? Take a photo with Olivia. She's so cute. This is the cutest photo. Take a photo, take a friendly photo with Olivia. I want her and Riley to have a picture together. So her and Olivia had a great paired photo together. That's so cute. Prom is complete. We got a bronze medal. Um, I hope somebody invites us to, yeah. I'm not gonna bring Riley. I am gonna send Riley home since King was just a loser tonight. He was a bit of a loser, I can't lie, which is sad but i think it's just gonna be reese and olivia we are here at the fairgrounds and i think olivia and reese should ride this ride it's the romantic one let them hang out a little bit more oh his acne is showing and he's embarrassed hopeless romantic reese had anticipated the cuddle cards to be romantic but he didn't realize the effect it would have on olivia with flushed cheeks and a coy smile olivia looks like she might want to take the next step into a relationship she closes her eyes and leans and leans towards Reese. Could it be that Olivia is leaning in for a smooch or she's just resting her eyes? Reese has to make a choice. Does he commit and meet Olivia halfway or does he pull away? No, he's definitely going for the kiss. He's definitely going for the kiss. Oh no, Reese leans in closer and Olivia stretches her arms above her head and yawns. She apologizes for falling asleep. Reese can't help but be a little disappointed at the revelation that Olivia just needed some more sleep and didn't want to kiss. He offers a shoulder. Um, if she wants to take another snooze, she accepts. That's sweet, though. That is, is cute. It's sad for Reese, but it's still sweet. But we're definitely having their first kiss. Okay. They're out. They're out. Oh, Olivia's sad. Why is she so sad? 
why don't we just go ahead let them have their first kiss i think it's perfect i think he would reveal his crush he can't take it no more y'all he really can't she feels the same way all right it's a blizzard i'm gonna let them have their first kiss and then they're gonna go their separate ways so sweet Wait, Olivia is feeling a romantic connection for Reese and wants to suggest a date. Do you want this to happen? Yes. Oh, we're going on a date right now? A romantic date, I feel. Should we get to know her? I feel like we've gotten to know her. They were childhood best friends. Let's do a romantic date. Are we doing it now? Be romantic, be friendly, be funny. Food, drinks, star or cloud gaze. I feel like this is sweet. Save the moment. Maybe dance some more since it's prom. And they are going to go to the red velvet red velvet lounge okay you guys so i forgot that we came here with dove like maybe the first episode i don't remember um and it didn't work like this was glitched out hopefully it works now um i think i'm just gonna get them a table perfect oh there's an upstairs to this i didn't even know that it's like a bathroom and another bar area oh there's an outside patio i actually would like this better come sit outside actually okay this is much better we're gonna have a little small talk. This is Reese's first date. I'm so happy. Small talk, small talk. Here we go. Um, get to know her a little bit more and maybe share some personal details about yourself. Reese, what are you doing? Oh, he's clapping about that. She wouldn't prom queen. That's so cute. He's so supportive. She's uh, charismatic. She's a student at Copperdale High. Reese clued Olivia in on some personal details about his life, his career, and financial status. Okay. <laughs> um what does that mean talk about moving yeah i think he needs to discuss the fact that he moved into a dump now he wants where are you guys going i didn't want you to have to get up um she's flirty so i think this is a good time to be flirty as well flirt a little bit more maybe kiss her again oh she's holding hands okay y'all not too much now he said, you're so fun to be around. I really do enjoy spending time with you, and I hope you feel that way about me, too. Should we ask her to be our girlfriend already, or is that too soon? Reese and Olivia are both very satisfied in their relationships. Um, while in this state, their romantic relationship will slowly increase over time automatically. That's great. So the date's going well. Date actions. Ask how date is going. Reese has a major crush on Olivia. I could tell. <laughs> Did we ask her to be our girlfriend? Is it too soon? I don't know. They reached the... He reached romance level three. Should we ask how the date's going? I'm scared. Uh, Olivia is joining the date and would like to spend more time together. Perhaps you would like to extend the date. Okay, well, I guess we didn't have to ask how the date was going because she clearly is having a good time. Oh, five o'clock in the morning. We've been together since... What was it? Like two o'clock? What is a sweetheart box? I want to know. We're gonna have to get her sweetheart box. I don't even know what that is. Um, why don't we come inside and do some karaoke? Aw, he likes to sing, sure. They're doing the karaoke. Oh, we got two bucks. That was it? No, keep going. Okay, we're not getting any more money, so you're done singing. Oh, oh, oh. That's crazy. Crazy work. Okay, he has to pee really bad. Um, come up here, go to the bathroom. Maybe we can get some food. He is hungry. She got herself some food. My bad. My bad, Olivia. I should have paid for it. Why don't you come sit next to her and eat your food together? This is like the sweetest date. Um, tell a funny story. Stories. Tell an engaging story. Oh my goodness. I love them. They're so cute. Reese is getting really tired, so we need to wrap this date up and get back to the house. He needs to tell another story and then tell a joke. We're so close. Come tell a joke just real quick. Perfect, we got a gold, gold star. Let's go ahead and ask Olivia to be our girlfriend and we'll go home. I feel like he's gonna confess his undying love because he's literally he's like 14 so i feel like this is definitely something he would do give her a kiss ask her to be your girlfriend and then we're going home 
it's already 10 a.m you guys they have been together they've been together for nearly 24 hours um how do i ask to be girlfriend i'm not seeing it anywhere that sucks it was there not gonna lie i do hate how they did the menu because i feel like i can't find anything it was there and now it's not so maybe we'll ask her another time we'll go ahead and end the date that was perfect wow that was such a legendary date your sim was on fire out there there's a gift in your sims inventory to help you remember such a great time oh cherished cherished memories portrait so cute okay we're gonna get home goodbye olivia thank you for such a great time <laughs> He's been holding in that fart. Did you see that? He's been holding in that fart since 2 o'clock yesterday. All right, you guys. We are back home. Reese needs to eat something. And then we're going to age up Rome just real quick. He had the best time. And I'm so happy for him. Riley's upset. Oh, her prom wasn't that good. Poor thing. We're going to go ahead and age up Rome. Zoe wants to come over, of course. Have at it. Oh, the parents are going to miss you aging up. Oh, my gosh. Rome aged up, they missed it, and he is a sunny sim. These sims are bursting with smiles and giggles and enjoy engaging with other sims, but they do require more social attention. Rome has aged up. Unfortunately, they missed him aging up, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and ed edit him in cast real quick. All right, you guys, here is Rome all aged up into an infant. I think he is so freaking adorable. Um, once again, he looks like Dove to me, but these kids be surprising me. You know, I don't think Stefan ever got his twin. <laughs> and maybe that's for the best. But anyway, here is Rome all aged up in his outfits. He has four outfits. Oh my gosh, what, is, what happened to Rome? What in the, what in the world is this? what what did what did you no okay well i'm gonna have to age him back down i'm gonna have to age rome back down i don't know why he aged up again all right you guys so this is the bedroom i gave it a bit of a makeover um i added a crib for rome some little stars that actually came from riley's room i gave the walls a fresh coat of paint they dove has this cute little flower thing i thought would look cute in here just to remind her of their original home and then they have a changing table down here um the kids are just kind of reeling in from last night i am gonna go ahead and send them all off to bed because uh as we know mr reese was out all night he had an amazing date reese is bouncing off the walls with excitement after that date he can't wait to gush to other sims about such an amazing time he had his first kiss you know prom was very successful to him he enjoyed it a lot but i think now is a great place to end it um we had such a great time well maybe not the kids but they moved into this house they're still fixing it up i think they made a bit of progress from when they moved in i mean the walls have a fresh coat of paint they got four thousand dollars uh reese had an amazing prom he had an amazing date with olivia i know we didn't really get to focus on ray this episode like we wanted to it was a bit chaotic but we did a lot with reese so I was very happy with that and yeah next episode we're just gonna be continuing cleaning we're just gonna be continuing cleaning up this house some more and yeah I think it was a successful episode I really enjoyed it I hope you guys did too thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one bye